shout out to her. All right, guys, well, you know where that music right there means. It's time to get this party started. Hello, I am Kevin John, and week five of the high school football season is here. Now, some teams have yet to start league play, while other teams are kicking off league play tonight. Now, we're going to kick this show off with the game you guys voted to be our Fat Bay Machinery Game of the Week, and y'all picked a good one. ABC 10's Matt George standing by with all of that action. We're already in week five of the high school football season, which means all over the Sac Joaquin section, it's the start of league play. And for this week's Pap A Machinery Game of the Week, we have a league clash for you. The Colfax Falcons taking on the Center Cougars, where home field advantage is the name of the game. It's been three seasons since the Center Cougars have hosted the Colfax Falcons, and over that time, Colfax has dominated the matchup between these two teams. However, the Falcons haven't defeated the Cougars here in Antelope for over a decade. Early on, you could tell Colfax was eager to correct that. Senior quarterback River Roach rolls out and hits junior wide receiver Austin Lydon for the game's opening touchdown. On the back foot early, the Cougars wasted no time answering back. Their first offensive snap of the game, quarterback Bradley Kenny throws a bomb downfield to junior receiver Andy McClear, who is finally brought down on the 11-yard line. The very next play, center would punch it in for six. Both teams would score a touchdown in each of their first two drives, trading blows like a prize heavyweight fight. Center would head into the halftime break with a 21-14 lead, much to the delight of the Cougar varsity cheer team, joined by the cheerleaders of Dudley Elementary School. Start of the second half, center picks up right where they left off. Another big connection between Kenny and McClear, except this one goes the distance. Now how about we show a little love to special teams? The Cougars come up with a huge blocked punt and now find themselves with possession back in dangerous territory. So here comes Kelly, whose pass is actually tipped, but still falls into the hands of senior Isaiah Castellon, who cruises in for the score. It was just that kind of night for center. After a breakout first quarter, the Falcons' offense have gone stagnant, so they went back to what worked the first time. Roach drops back and hits Lydon again deep over the middle to give the Falcons a bit of life, but ultimately the Cougars brought the hammer down in the second half to secure the 55-21 victory, improving to 4-1 on the season and keeping their home winning streak alive over Colfax. Honestly, it's our fans, you know, they come out every game. Shout out to our student section this year. And, uh, I mean, we haven't beat Colfax at home in the past three years, so we just want to show them that when they come to our house, it's going to be the same thing. I love how that kid shouted out the fans and the student sections, of course. And I'm going to shout out Matt George for doing a wonderful job on that package.